Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and this is a BIOS walkthrough of the Gigabyte B550 Aorus Elite AX V2 BIOS. So, what we got here is their uh, easy mode, and as you can see, it says it's on version F16A, which I hope that they come out with a new version soon. Uh, it seems like they're a little bit behind. This was released uh, months ago. And it doesn't have the latest ages for AMD, but hopefully that's coming. Then you can see we got two sticks of DDR, and we'll go to the XMP Profile One. So that's going to be running at 4,000 um, DDR 4,000. You can see I got boot drives of the uh, Samsung 90 Pro. I had a USB drive in here to install Windows, and then you can see the frequency, memory frequencies. CPU temps, CPU voltages, VRAM, has SATA, no SATA is connected, no PCIe, and you can see the M.2s. So there's also RAID Expert Tech, and then you got English, your help. We'll jump into advanced mode. There's uh, smart fan mode, load optimized defaults. So if you screwed something up, click this. Q flash, that's where you can go to update your BIOS. And that's pretty straightforward there. You have a BIOS file on your USB, you walk through it, you can save and exit, and then you have your favorites. So let's jump into the smart fan mode for right now. And as you see here, smart fan mode, you can literally set up your fan curves and apply it to your CPU fan or your CPU op, system fan one, two, or three. And you can change different things in here. So it, let's say you don't want to be fan controlled based upon in software and windows or another thing you can actually do it here in the bios which is a great feature to have overall so that's basically it for here you can you can mess with all this stuff but let's go back let's jump into advanced mode this is where you have your favorites here right on um, what you like to set or whatever else so they have some populated for you and I like that they have extreme your um, XMP right there but this is where you can really tweak down your memory your CPU in tweaker you, you have your CPU clock uh, clock control your spread spectrum and they give you a nice little um, description at the bottom your CPU uh, clock ratios next which is a nice easy way to kind of uh, change things you'll notice that there's stars to show where the favorites are your gpu clock frequencies now this is a 5600g so if you don't have a graphics card on your processor you won't have this you can see you have your virtualization mode um core boost virtualization mode your cool and quiet that's been old technology name that amd has came through and used for many years now all your global c states your power out of state your down color control and your smt which is your hyper threading is all auto so you have your xmp profile which we set in the easy side your flck um yeah ulck so you got those as well S system multiplier advanced memory settings so you can go into here you can get your into your sub timings um, your speed information uh, on all this so there we go your every there it's a uh, Samsung as well and then your power down and that's enabled so your V core this is you know this stuff is all for if you want to get more advanced and overclocking every and and eke out every bit of performance there they have a whole bunch of settings for your uh, CPU V core low line calibration, your V core SOC low line calibration. So they got all this stuff if you want to go the extra mile and eat more performance out of it. Now, for this system, it's going to my uncle. There's no reason for doing that. I'm not going to be up there to uh, fix things when they break, and so I don't want to be there. Or I don't want to tweak something that may cause this issue but here you go and you can see some of your AC stuff uh, what do you want your computer to do if you if it's powered down AC comes back it just stays off right you can switch this to on off or last known state this is your um, 
ERP mode, your and this is these are all kind of power settings and when it gets enabled like your wake on land, okay, your precision event timer and this is your um, what is it consumer electronics something or other if it's ready or not extra power savings uh, your IO ports you can see here initial display output is in PCI slot one even though that's not populated. I just keep these defaulted just in case somebody were to throw one in you're all ready to go and then you have your integrated graphics your audio your PCI by 16 uh, by bif bifurcation there if you want to you know split it up your above 4g decoding resizable bar your land now these are things that you know if you're a gamer you might be enabling especially resizable bar for his instance, right, we're using integrated graphics. AMD doesn't allow you to go above two gigs to begin with, so why are we messing with it? USB configuration, you know, how you're doing it. This all this stuff is all auto for me, for this instance, right? Your legacy support, your handoffs, your mass storage, all that stuff. Um, your NVMe configuration on the 980, you can see your different stuff, your data on the drive terabyte drive so that's all right your SATA configuration there's nothing here to look at but this is where your SATA drives would be populated your network stack is disabled and then this is the um, 2.5 gig NIC on here so they got it that dedicated now your system information tells you English your uh, different information about you know bios date was this is back in february so yeah i do wish they would come out with another one you can see here you can get your plug-in devices info right there's only one device q flash if you want to flash the bios here's where you go for that so not much in here you can change your system date time all that fun stuff but it is what it is then you have your boot manager or your boot options so you got okay there's one boot item which is your windows boot which is that was normally set up to especially if you just installed windows your numlock security options if you want to see the logo fast boot is disabled which you can go either way on that uh, what your storage options are which is U uefi right and i turn off land boot it's off by default but uh preferred operation mode and then you have your yeah so that's basically it and then you have your save and exit and your load optimized defaults and your boot overrides so that's a quick little rundown here I want to jump through that pretty fast I'm trying to get this computer up and running for my uncle so I can drop it off tomorrow so there's a lot of work ahead of me but uh, yeah hopefully it can it's, it will all be ready for him but let me know if you have any questions about this BIOS or if you uh, would like to know anything more about it. I won't have the computer to directly see it, but, you know, I, hopefully I'll be able to help and point you in the right direction. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time to help support Gray Overload and helping this channel grow. I really appreciate it. Until next time, God bless. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.